Bang Average Fishing, how are we doing? Well, you find me stood in the middle of the river. I'm doing a bit of fly fishing, oi oi Savaloi. It's about bloody time, isn't it? Japan is a nation of fly fishers. They absolutely love fly fishing, whether that's for carp or trout or cherry salmon or anything. They'll just fly fish for them. They love it. And that's what we're doing today. So I've got the fly rod out and I'm hitting the river and I'm giving it my first ever fly fishing trip here in Japan. I cannot wait for this, folks. I cannot wait. It's a little bit of a special one for my old man, this. Sadly, he's not here, but he always wanted to come fly fishing in Japan. And I'm flipping doing it, mate. So I hope you're looking down with a big smile on your face. I'm pretty much smiling. So I hope you are. Fishing a gorgeous, gorgeous little run here. I'm not really sure my plan of action. There seems to be a few fish rising. Probably little Masu trout, but you never know. And I'm fishing a dry fly, and I appreciate I'm going downstream, which technically isn't what you should do when you dry fly, but I'll be truthful, I've never found it makes a difference. Started off with a daddy long leg, to just see if that gets the bite to start with. It's something quite big, stripping it across the water, creates a bit of a V, bit of action, might entice anything slightly bigger that's knocking about to have a little mooji. This is my first fly fishing trip here in Japan as well, so I'm quite excited. It's a lovely evening. See what we can pull out. The rod I'm using today, well, by the finish of it and sort of the delicateness of the rod, you wouldn't expect this to be a travel rod, but it is. It is in fact the rigged and ready infinite fly two in one. You basically get a four weight and a six weight all for the price of one. What more could you ask for? The four weight seven foot, the six weight is nine foot. Double check the website. I'm not a technical fella. And then the reel, well, look at that old bad boy. It's an old Marquis. Yeah, dipped it from home before we left. It'll do the job for on here, won't it? Beautiful. What a place to be fly fishing. Look at that. <laughs> what is my life, mate? What is my life? <laughs> Just had a bite, folks, and got him off. Nice. Castro, I was just about to say I've had a bite and I didn't have my camera on. Oh, yeah, beauty! It's a cherry, Sam! <laughs> oh, he's off! Oh, dear, oh, dear. Hey ho. Oh, the first fly caught fish. You love it. Oh, <laughs> bloody hell, it's that quiet. My voice is echoing for miles. Oh, he came for it again. Different one this time, probably. I don't think it's a big fish, but this is true Japanese fly fishing at its best. Got him on. Yes. Nice, 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 nice. He is only, only tiny, but this is my first, first official landing of a fish. And I think by my, if I, oh God, come here, bad guy. Big guy, big guy, big guy. Actually, that's a little rainbow, I think. Come here, guy. Beautiful. It's a little baby rainbow. Look at him. Oh, he's got caught in the eye, though. Thank God for barbless hooks. Not ideal. But look at him, beautiful little fish. Get him, get gone, son. You'll recover quick. Oh, yeah, I love it, son. You bloody love it. Folks, I'm back on the river. After that awesome little session, I couldn't help myself, especially after it's rained all afternoon and the fly life is going absolutely bananas. They're bouncing off my head as we speak. So I went and got the fly rod and we're back at it. Come on, let's see if we can nail a couple more fish. Beautiful. Dry fly fishing in Japan, baby, living the dream. This is our next fly. Look at this lad. He looks good, doesn't he? Nice and bushy. Yeah, he'll do the job nicely. Fish on. <laughs> nice. That was a nice little bite. Oh, and he's off. Jumping around like a blue ass fly, baby. But they're taking the fly. And that was stripped. I was stripping that sort of just below the surface, actually. So I'm going to continue with that strategy. I know it's a dry fly, but if it works, it works, doesn't it? I don't know how well you can see it, but look at the fly life now on the water. It's absolutely phenomenal. Fish on. Nice. Oh, that's, that's not bad, you know. It's giving up a decent little scrap. Oh, it's a lovely cherry salmon. It's a lovely, lovely fish. Come on, son. 
Get in my net, sir. Now, I know it's nice, a baby rainbow. Easy. One is in. Yes. A lovely fly caught fish. What a beauty he is. What a stunner. All right, little chode. Bit of assistance paid off there. Next time, could be a biggie that. Ping one along that tree line. There's a big trout in here. He's on. It's not big, but it's a decent fish. <laughs> I had a feeling there might be something hold up there. It's a nice rainbow. Still only a baby, but it's my biggest fish on the fly here. Oh, yes. Giving it all the go. Giving it Larry Large once, this little rainbow. Ah, oh, I just had a feeling there would be something nestled against them trees. That's a lovely fish. Oh, hello. Come on. That is a stunning fish. An absolute stunner. Come on. I'm surprised we've not lost him, actually. Must have hooked him really well. He's been caught a few times there, I think. And he's in the net. Oh, behave. Oh, look at him. What a beautiful fish. It's a stunner. And he's gone. <laughs> Well, that was definitely the most rainbow trout thing that's ever happened. At least you went back okay. Oh, class! What a lovely fish! Out oh, of this gorgeous, gorgeous run as well. I had a feeling there might have just been something under that tree. If we just twitch something enough, it might just entice it. It wasn't big, but still a belter. about fishing here is the wildlife. Like you can just see these deer prints here. It's absolutely mad. Like and they've obviously come up from here, come down to the river. And there's also a big bloody bird. I'm assuming that's a heron. Surprised we've not seen some fox prints. Here we go. Oh, they look a bit small. They could be stoats or something like that. Weasel. But it's just so much wildlife. And rivers are the flipping heart and soul of these environments. But this has meant a lot to me, more probably on a personal note, these last couple of little fly fishing trips I've done. I really had fallen out of love with this and I think really in truth because I used to do it with my dad and, and sadly he's not around anymore and I think I found it quite hard to do probably because of the memories and and all that stuff and it's probably the symbol of how tough really the last four and a half years of my life have been without him. I never thought I'd have struggled as much as I have and I feel like I've finally just come out the other side of it now and it's it's pretty it's pretty freaking nice. So for any of you still struggling with grief or pain in any capacity, don't be afraid to feel it. And don't judge yourself for how long it might take you to get over it. Because for me, it's probably coming up five years now. It definitely is. It's coming up five years. Five years in November for me to feel normal again. Flipping, keep going everyone. Life's a roller coaster and live every day to the max. And on that sort of semi-miserable, semi-happy note. Tight lines. <laughs> Keep bloody fishing.